Today we're going to be seeing a brand new feature for the Attendance Tracker app. So you should already be familiar with the app uh, where we have programs and then sessions for the program for tracking the time period that you want to track attendance for. And then we have our attendances, uh, which are related between attendances and contacts. And previously we had the update button to update the Visual Force page for the attendances. Now this page was previously not editable and now we've added field sets so that you can edit it. So on your attendance, uh, we have a section for field sets um, where we've added some new field sets. The AD field set will allow you to edit the fields shown on this page and it will add them to the end over here uh, after attendance date. So you do that by simply editing the AD field set and dragging fields onto the page, move them around, and then click Save. And now when we refresh this page, we can see that after the attendance date, we have our clock in and our clock out fields. And these are custom fields that you can create on your own and add to the page. However, some of you may think that all these extra fields are unnecessary and that you want to simplify the page. For those of you, we have a new button that you can add to the page and you can, of course, remove the old buttons and just use this update FS button for the field set. Now this page is much simpler. You can actually remove any of these fields. It's divided into three parts. Um, we have our output fields first, then a set of input fields, and then a field set for another set of output fields, labeled F, S, 1, 2, and 3, and also labeled as output, input, and output. So basically what this does is this is the first output set of fields. This is where the second set of input fields go. And this is where the third field set of output fields go. And you can, of course, change these. So we're going to change the present. And we change this in the same way we did everything else by dragging and drop and clicking Save. So we've got days of the week, which uh, you may have to track the number of hours that your kids are in class. And this kind of now looks like time and expense management. As I've noticed, a lot of the schools are going that direction with their after school programs. I've seen some other people go um, crazier where they want each day of the week, which to me is a little odd because what do you do if the day, if the month is February and it only has 29 days in it, then you have these extra couple of days. But I've seen some of the uh, competitors to this uh, do that on campaigns um, and try and use uh, like grid buddy or something uh, to get them an editable visual force page well now we can do this uh, i personally find this a little bit confusing to keep track of the days of the week that way but you know if you want to put all 30 days on there you can you can do that and again we have our output field set followed by our long input field set and then more output field sets and you can change the fields in the output field set as well as the input field set. You don't have to just change the uh, input field sets. And I hope that gives you a quick demo of the new field set feature that's coming to the attendance tracker.